week that saw KCCFC pick maximum points against old rivals Express Football Club in the Kampala Derby played at the MTN Omondi Stadium that propelled KCCFC to the top of the Sometimes Uganda Premier League table. We also talk that double game week next week against Bull Football Club away and Busoga United at home. And not forgetting that interview with Alan Okelo and Moses Waiswa where they talk about football in the professional setting. It is season four, episode five of the KCCFC TV show. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje. You and I are definitely walking this journey together. Well, it's a different setting today, and we're out here. You can see beautiful environment, the green, uh, a little bit different from your usual KCCFC TV setting. But like I said, season four, episode five, and we started off with lifting the lead on professional football and uh, in a segment called Settling the Score. Now, Alan Okello and Moses Weiss were in the second part of that docu-series. We told you last week that we shall have that continuation. And this particular one, still, they talk about life in the professional setting. They lift the lead and tell you what exactly happens in that professional setting. They also have some, you know, the light part of the interview uh, that you'll be watching in this particular segment. Uh, I'm quite sure that uh, you enjoyed the first part of the docu-series and the second one I'll tell you that is quite, I should say, interesting because um, these guys go to tell us what exactly we never get to see about players that go abroad to play professional football. Enjoy this. What was your first experience getting into the team? That very first training you had with okay. your fellow teammates, the very first time they met you. I would say that professionally, the, 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 foreign, the foreign players like jailed easily. Mm -hmm. Players from Zimbabwe, Zambia, it's easy for you to, because you're all in the same basket. So they kind of help you because mm -hmm. they speak English. So it wasn't that hard for me. Mm -hmm. But generally, South Africans as players and coaches, they love themselves so much. So they first promote South Africa. So that's where you get most of the problems. So if you're competing with a South African and he's playing on the national team, so it's kind of hard for you to play, even if everyone feels you have to be on the pitch. Because with Supersport, everyone, even the team managers, felt that they had to play. Isn't that a case though? Don't also... Ugandans love fellow Ugandans more than others. I'll give you an example. We have a Congolese player, um, oh, Simon. Yes. But no one has ever treated him like players are treated outside. Or maybe Ugandans are just hospitable. Because even when foreigners come, yeah, I would we say, actually welcome them more than we would welcome them. I would them say it's nice because yeah, exactly. if you want someone to give you something good, mm -hmm. you have to treat them like nice. The best way. You yeah. need to give them Because I can't get your best version there mm -hmm. when I don't yeah. treat you right. So. Okay. That's the problem with most, and I know with Arab countries too. Mm -hmm. Why, sir? Uh, did you ever, before the deal went through, yeah. did you ever have a conversation with Kaitano Tembo, the head coach of Sipasport back then, um, before you actually joined? Not really, because I think the, 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 the team administration had more interest in me than the than coach. Because I, I, I told the bosses that I, I don't think this guy would have brought me here with his playing style, because we're kind of different. But did you ever have a conversation with him? Yeah, because during lockdown, I played the big games, uh, Steve, Sundowns, and Pirates, and I was voted man of the match in most of the games. And he also made phone calls telling me. So, but on the other games, I would sit after that, like a game against Sundowns, then you're out for like four games, then how would you be consistent? Mm. No, I mean, sir. Okay, like I understand that. But what I mean, mm. have you, did you ever at one point talk to the coach and have that honest discussion about you not having game time, about the playing system, or you felt like... You do talk about it, but coaches, most coaches won't tell you straight. They'll just say, you know what, uh, the team has won a game, so they need to play because they've been winning. Mm. So it's sad for you to say, because they, they, in football they say they never change a winning team. True. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, Alan, did you at one point talk to Francisco Charles before actually joining? Ah, uh, yeah, of course, always you have to uh, have a discussion with the mm. coaches and all that. What did you talk to him? Your very first talk with Because Francisco. I remember, like, I played, uh, for, the, for the very first time, mm. I played under Francisco Charles. 
I think only two matches, I think. Mm. Uh, because from there we had a breakdown of the COVID-19 and all that. Mm-hmm. Then after COVID-19, there was no Fatih Kachalo anymore, you understand? So we had a very wonderful discussion with him. He wanted me to play, he wanted me to be with the team and all that, you understand? Mm-hmm. So after a few games, because even I remember on my debut, I had a goal and all that. So you're like, okay, now you just need to get the strategy right and mm-hmm. the tactics and all that. Mm-hmm. But unlucky enough, COVID came in and Charo, Charo Charo life. So a new coach came with his own strategy and all that. So, you know, but anyway, people say that you always have to be able to play under every coach. That is true. Everything. Mm-hmm. As a player. Yeah, as a player. I, I always did my best to fight for my position and be there with the team. So, yeah, always. Some coaches don't give you reasons why they don't yeah. give you playing time. Mm-hmm. You understand, but as a professional player, you you don't you need to act accordingly. Mm-hmm. You understand. You won't tell the coach that uh, you are playing this system and I don't like this and this. You just play. You just play, mm-hmm. even if it doesn't favor you or not. You and the other thing is, <clears throat> he won't play you like five games. Then, yeah, just, I think just brings you in the lineup, and he wants a hundred percent from. And you. I think that <laughs> happens a lot. Most of the time, they give you a game to play. Then you play a perfect game for this first game. Then in the next game you, you bench. want you bench yeah. you over here. And then you're brought on top of when the team is trailing and they need a savior. Yeah. yeah. And they want either an assist or a goal. Which also you can provide without and game then, time. And then you're benched for the next yeah. game. Yeah, you you need to play like each and every game. Right? Very many the Ugandans though feel I'm part of those Ugandans. Mm. I don't know if I'm right or I'm wrong, mm. but very many Ugandans feel mm. uh, we struggle a lot when we leave our country mm. because we are not prepared enough. Mm. Even the basic things, mm. let's say trainings, uh, the, the training gears that we use, mm. the technology, mm. or something like that. As people have gone outside Uganda, mm. you've played. Mm. Is it partially true that before we leave, we are not equipped enough mm. to play at the stage or at the level that? Uh, the other clubs are playing like that. I would say it's, that's a weak, uh, or should I say? That's a weak. Because uh, if you can play in Lira on a bumpy pitch and you and find a flat, grassy piece, how would you say you're not equipped enough? Actually, if you say that, we, we, we see players who play on good pitches mm. and they complain when they come on bad pitches. So, I don't know, is it about getting used? Should we say it, we get used to the bumpy it's not for example a player no no player no player likes a bumpy, likes pitch. A bumpy pitch but maybe but Ugandans are, we are too used no to no example. but even if we are playing uh-huh. there it comes back to the mental like strength it. yeah because i would say me and alan okay i came i think a month or two months before mm-hmm. him but i didn't play in in such pitches right mm-hmm. but when you go to updf bombo it's bumpy little but you just have to put it in your mind that this is the pitch i have so you just have to play. So when you go outside, you won't say that you have nice boots. Everything is nice. How would it be like? Okay, you guys. That's a the problem excuse for us, you guys. Yeah, like, it's not an excuse. Excuse. Because, uh, uh, I don't know, Kevin. Yeah. Would you want to tell me that this, the way trainings are conducted in Algeria, the game preparation and everything, is the same with the waiting. No, it's not the same. It's now, not the same now, because now, now that's the level, different. The level of the because Uganda, the league is. I would say they call it professional, but it's not yet there. We, 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 we just can, call it. We, call we call just call we can it. say semi-professional. Yes. At least the players and the people involved can tell. It's, people it's have it in words that it's professional, right? Yes, mm-hmm. but uh, the training, uh, they, they're different. Now that is where my point comes. Could yeah, it be that when we go? To the other teams outside mm. Uganda, we struggle to adjust to the way they do things. Okay. Ah, uh, I wouldn't say that because I don't know, if you're training at this level, yeah. then you go to Algeria and their training is at this level. Mm. It's going to take you a while to cope up with their training. Let yeah, obviously, like the, the intensity here in Uganda, different. it's different. It's different. It's a bit lower. When you when you go to another country, the intensity is high. But the, but the, the working hours the working are, are hours less. are less. Much so, less. In, so in Uganda we work more. We work more, not so efficient, but the work hours are um, like we're being real. I don't want to hide it. Yes, you still have jobs. 
Yeah, we do have jobs, <laughs> but it's the truth. That's the truth. Everywhere, don't, I won't say KCC, because yeah, KCC yeah. is a bit... Uh, no, no, every team club, in Uganda, actually. But most teams in Uganda, yeah. I'll tell you. No, at least for KCC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. at least for KCC. They're they trying to, to, to use the science of the game. Yeah. yeah. But I would say, uh, for example, you go to South Africa, everything, they have to consult the physio, how many hours of resting, and... What food are we going to eat on the I game day? Is when I move around and yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I have yeah. that. But some teams, you won't find that. You're done training, just go home. Find your means of recovery. How long did it take you to adjust to that intensity? Me, me being that, I went because injured. I don't lie. Because me being that, I went injured. Mm. I didn't even have enough time to go with them in the preseason because I had my rehabilitation and stuff. So it took me like three months or something. But when I came in, I had uh, like four games constantly, mm -hmm. then COVID came in. Imagine you just came back playing, then COVID comes in, you break off. <laughs> so that... So also COVID uh, caused something there, because I had just started like constantly playing, then COVID comes in, we break off, then we come in, I got issues with my stomach. I didn't, I didn't finish, because we went in the bio bubble like, when teams get, went into camp and then they played the league to finish it, I wasn't there because I was sick. So, you see, so everything like was coming in bit by bit. Yes. Mm. Alan, how, did, how long did it take you to adjust? For, to me, the way to, you do things? for me too, I also went injured. Mm. Uh, I went with the knee injury too. So, uh, though I would say that at, uh, the, the COVID that came in actually made me, gave me enough time to recover with my knee. Uh, to do some rehab alone though mm. you understand yeah but when they came in when they came in and all that obviously as a player everyone knows that you you with time you catch up with uh, with your friends mm. and all that with time you catch up whether the intensity is so high whether it's this and this you'll catch up with your friends uh then eventually everything is on the same table okay alan are you enjoying your football currently you're flying high are not flying high. Why are you saying you sound <laughs> flying? You're not flying high. You're no, flying low. No, no, no it's not. I so not at my highest expectation. Oh wow, that you is understand. Good. That yeah. is good. For us, for me, I actually thought you were high up there. No, but as a player, if, if you feel that is out of a hundred, I think I think out of a hundred, I'm doing sixty percent, seventy percent. I thought you were going to say forty. Sixty percent. Sixty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you're performing at sixty, when you hit a hundred. For KCC, definitely you're loving the club, the fans, the atmosphere around. Like any other player, you'd want to be where you feel loved and feel home. Would you extend your long period at the club? Or if you feel you've hit 100, you'd actually want to go back to Algeria? Uh, me, I would say, uh, by the second, if the second leg to come and the, second, the first leg is down, the first round is down, I've settled in with the team and everything is good. Uh, I, Obviously, even the team knows, the club knows that I came here to recreate myself, mm. to be at my best so that... So you want to rec recreate and go and live? Uh, not, not to live. You can't. <laughs> sometimes you can't recreate yourself within a year, or yeah. you understand, within a year. If you're lucky enough, maybe. Mm. Maybe yes, maybe not. But you know, everything comes in. Uh, you can get injured, you can do this, you understand. But I believe with my performance and all that, mm. so... I can still be with that team. I'm not. Uh, I will not say that. Uh, in the end of the season, case will be like, Alan, what are you? What are you doing? Here? Get out of our. You understand. So I need to give my best to the club. Mm. So with the end of the season, whether I don't have the opportunity to go back to Algeria, I don't have the opportunity to go to another club. I'm, I can still say comfortable when the club still wants me to be mm. there. What if they want you to be there? Yeah, when they want me to be there. You want to go anywhere? I want to go anywhere. We have tied you here. Why is uh, if a team from South Africa came, of course, not super sporty, mm. like you say, you badly wanted to leave. So if another team from South Africa came asking for a signature, would you still go back to South Africa? Yeah. Even with the experience? Yes. I, I told you. Because that is now mental, is now, you are now mentally well, stable. I, right? I, didn't, I didn't, even when I was signed for cases, I told them, I wasn't coming here to... To be a Ugandan football player for the rest of the No, career. to live a legend just in, in a year, because we still want to make money, we still want to like push yeah, our careers. Yeah, that is true. So I would like to help KCC get where it belongs, but I would love KCC to push me back to where I want to be. So yeah, that's what I go.
Okay, guys, uh, I think that I will bring us to the end of the outside talk, the mm. abroad football. So now, how do you rate your success, or kind of success, your time at KCC so far? Mm. I think you now feel mentally okay, yeah. physically great. Mm. Yeah. Uh, for the period of time, for the period that you've been with the club, mm. how would you rate yourself now, where you stand? Compared to when you came in after? Yeah, when I came in, I struggled a bit because adjusting to everything, the climate and Uganda as a country, because it was three years. Yeah, but I would say now it's it's getting there. I'm getting there, yes. Would, would, food, would food make you leave a country? Food, you no. Food to no. live, to but, live but, in a country. Food is something no, small. Maybe. Food and weather is something. Food and weather no. is something you can. You adjust because your body was built to adjust to yeah. climate and food. Trust yes. me, I, I eat very specific food. Because if, if you go to China and you start, you, you big, start big, eating big, snakes, then you will die. I, I can't. I you, would you wouldn't be down. knowing that you're you, eating. You, eat you understand? You Trust eat. me, if you go to you Congo, they eat monkeys. Ask people who play Champions League. You go to Congo. Sometimes you go to Congo and they serve you monkeys. You know that. So you guys have eaten mangoes. So we don't know. We don't know. Unless you, you only have to ask: Is, it, is this a lari or not a lari? <laughs> That's the only question you have. Huh? Okay, guys. I want us to have some game to summarize the interview. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a fun game between two, you two guys. <laughs> uh, it's going to be just a simple question. Yeah. Uh, how many players can you name? In the first team, in our first team, yes, under thirty seconds. Okay. So Alan Okello, seconds. how many? If you feel you <laughs> can name, <laughs> if Alan Okello feels can yeah. name ten, mm. and Waiswa feels mm. he can, you can name eleven. Mm. You come out and say you can name eleven. Mm. So you name them. So we are going to time mm. thirty seconds. Like so, a, anyone in the team. Yes, anyone okay. in the team. How many do you think you can name? Uh, twenty. Twenty. Under 30 seconds. Yes. Yeah. You feel Under like 30, I can name 15. <laughs> <laughs> Under 30 seconds, I can name 20. You can name 20. Yeah. You feel you can name more than him? No, 20. I'll go for 20. You also feel you can go 20. Yeah. That is the tie. I need some. Then I will go for 21. 21. 20. Right. If you fail, why is it win? One? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to count. Then we start. Three, two, one, go. Ochan Derek, Ochan Benjamin. Aruna, Luka Garuna, Obenchan Felbert, Ayewa Brian, Atube, Brian Majwega, Mugume, Moses Waiswa, Kanyama, Faizo Wanyoma, Shaban Muhammad, Halano Kelo, Julius Poloto, Osama Asharfa, Mayanja Saidi, one, I win. I win. You are free. I win. 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 Twenty one. No. You count. No. <laughs> Did you count? The nineteen. <laughs> Twenty one. Did you count? Okay. We are. We are. Did you count? I didn't count one. <laughs> but the producer is definitely going to count them, and you are going to see. So uh, the next, the mm -hmm. next. Mm -hmm. How many teams? Yeah. In the league. Yes. In the starting together mm -hmm. in the league, can you name? What Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> in how many seconds? I'm not even but sure that I can name 11, I'm just saying. How many seconds? I might even name clubs that are already out of the league. Some, <laughs> sometimes I say Blackpool instead of Black Power. <laughs> so. Me, and if you say 11, 12, I'll go. I'll go for 12. 12. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you can go for 12. So you start go again. for 12. No, let him first go. 11. So, uh, in the league, there are 15 mm -hmm. teams. I believe. I can try to name 15. You can name each but team within seconds. one second. Two seconds. 30 seconds is too much for 15 teams. Ah. I mean, you need two seconds to measure. But you know how seconds roll. <laughs> okay, we are doing 20 seconds. <laughs> yes, I mean. That is you saying, KCCA, Vipers, you are a... Ah, yeah. you are a saying. <laughs> if no. I'm supposed to name the teams, I need... Okay, okay, I'll Trust start. Me, okay. Okay. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. So yeah, 20 seconds. At 20 seconds, yeah. when we are ready, we are going to roll. You okay. said you can name 11. Yes. yes I don't yes, say you can name 12. Okay, no problem. 12, okay. huh? Yeah, yeah. So, 11. 3, 2, 1, go. KCC, Gaddafi, UPDF, Aurora Hills, Oduparaka. Right. 
Vipers, URA, Hi. Black Power, mm. Wachiso, Busoga. Nine. We have three seconds. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two. No. One. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you. I'll give you something. You know, sometimes uh, mm. when you have games. Mm. I know by the start of the week that we have a team of That is an excuse. That's I'm telling excuse. you. You're close. Uh, Alan has one. Yeah. That's an excuse. So Alan, you said you can name 12? 11. Okay, name. Ah! 12. 12. 12. I can name 12. Okay, okay. Sure. 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds. Within 20, please time. Why so I have 25? Time Alan. Okay. How many is there? Alan, if you lose, why so takes all your points? Because no you all your money. No problem. Okay. 3, 2, 1. Bro. Wakiso, One. Vipers, KCC, Bull, Black Power, Bull Paraka, Bright Star, Busoga, uh, Gaddafi. Nine. Five seconds to go. Gaddafi, Three. Bull. Bull. Ah, no. I can't. You think you're even having a producer cheating for you? You're suspended. You're suspended. You I already said Bull. Yeah. <laughs> 10. I went for how many? You had 9. You had 9. nine. I, I mentioned oh, 10. You had, you had, you had, you had, you had 10. I was meaning with 2. Mm -mm. <laughs> Three. Oh, it's 10. Teams can't. Teams are <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure having you. I don't want you. I don't want you. Ah, see how get that one. I fell. You guys, you'd be serious. Which team did you miss? I missed Tarwahi. Uh, Maroons, I also didn't say. KCC was among the first three. Uh, I, started with KCC. I, I started with the ones on the table. And, and by the way, when you like are listing that. the first team players, you yeah. came eight. You don't list yourself first. I, goalkeepers first. I just say uh, goalkeepers first. Then the I also meet myself by the way. Why, sir? Do you want to go for the challenge of the player? Yeah, I can and try. Seconds, yes. Can I don't know, Kero, Me? Us, uh, How many? Were... I I said I said I can give you twenty one. I gave twenty. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah. Alan, stop lying. The camera is there. He's going to show. <laughs> Why so many can you give? Me, I can Under go 30 for fifteen. Fifteen players. Yes. Under thirty seconds. Yes. Okay. Uh we are ready. Three, two, one. Let's roll. Ochan, Ochan. No, 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 no. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, specify. Say that. Okay. 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 I'm gonna respond. What if you are saying Gochan for <laughs> Bombo FC? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's okay. roll again. Uh, three, two, one, go. Gochan Derek, Gochan Benja, Atube, Obenchan, Mato Rogers, Waiswa Moses, Alan Nokelo, um, Waswa Joffre, Waswa um, Alex, Bayanja, uh, Wabiona. Bana Hewa, mm -hmm. um, Kayanja, and. Um, Five. Four. Two. Four. Two. One. <laughs> <laughs> but how many? are 15. You say, yeah, you are 13. I can't go on his hand, but they are 15. I said 20. I said 15. Yeah, I said 20 players. Okay, we shall say that. Okay, guys, thank you so much. It was nice uh, meeting you. I hope we are going to meet again to have more of these games when yeah. we meet. Uh, so that was Alan Nokello and Moses Weiswa taking us through their journey of football, both in Uganda and outside Uganda, and how it went when they actually abroad. <laughs>
what does he feel ahead of the fans gala that will be happening next week on Sunday and also that one of the teams is named after him. Uh, here is Paul Sally giving his take ahead of the KCCFC fans gala next week on 18th December. Enjoy the legend. <laughs> depending <laughs> No, she will never appreciate it. Nothing in the Bacorilla. Nina Sanguinja, Gramat in Kodaji, Kurunda <laughs> Sigamanti to Jacquesanga to Gatua de Chicopo, which in Yagara to take it out to Gizao, never send you a feminine to take him a chagaro mupira. But a mukumi of Ogizi Wango Mogizawagira, a Tula Saint Akoraji, now one of Zany Saint, Nina Deunga, Tari Satisfied, Umpira Gubasambi. Tegujamu moicho chibu uri cha ati cha wadde. Omusambi omuzani. Ori na kukora hichi tu hichi pia zenu na ndoa no. Na kwa tanga goro wano. Nenga wano ebi tumi enkora. Na matu ba ba kaka leo ba shabi yangu ni yamo. Tewaja asomba kumi kora. Na tewaja zako tewe wano ageni sisi wano. Ane kana ngi ndimu kama mbinyo. Wanga ngo bo 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 bozani na mchisa we. Zinazi kugawa mupira. Manjwa ni mena tu sako eguli oyoka di di wora bo oyoka di coach. Dumu na muku bengoro. Azani na mupira. Bam bam ni bam bam ringi za azani na mupira. Nemu kama di kui. Obole so muto bo mupira gulu mupira se bute muni muto. Ingoro na ji na ngi na na yo. Ode kati na kusino. Nebi chakiri zibwe yo. Nera nga. Omuntu kwe gamba. Buni muntu awa ni no kuba ne determination ni yo. Yo gobo mupira. Banga Muzani, I told Muzani. O no Kuramanti, O Sanyu Savania Bogizibo. Banga Bogizing of Akucha and Makutani Kuberako, and out of Yagusamba. Future by Yakomao. Well, there you go. That is Paul Sally, one of the living legends at KCCFC. And I'll tell you that this year's Fans Gala is a little bit special. All the four teams are named after living legends. And the, all these guys are still here with us. So let's celebrate them as they are still with us. And that's the theme. And that's the reason as to why this year's Gala is named after living legends. I told you the teams are four. Team Paul Sally, Team Sam Simba, Bamweana, Team Charles Baker Masiko and Team John Ross Latico. These will be the four teams that will be competing next week on Sunday, 18th December at the MTN Omondi Stadium for all the top owners, that is for the KCCFC Fans Gala. Away from the KCFC Fans Gala, we'll talk about the player challenge. And for this week, uh, we feature two guys, that is Osama Arafat and the player that scored his first goal for KCCFC, uh, that is in a recent, in the Kampala derby. He scores big goals only, and that is Chisungu Kankonde, the player from Congo. They take part in a player's challenge, uh, quite interesting content, and to all the team that is behind this one, I thank you very much. That is a team from KCCFC. So for all the viewers out there, enjoy this challenge.
Well, that's all about the players' challenge, and that is Chisungu Kankonde and Usama Araf. And I will say these are best friends. Uh, I will say they are really best friends because uh, he's one guy that always confides into that is Araf that always confides into Kankonde, and it's also the other way around. And you get to love it when they get to take part in uh, challenges like those. We'll have many of those kinds of challenges on the KCFC TV. And uh, for this week, like I said, we had uh, Usama Arafat and a player that scored his first goal, one of the many to come, and that is Chisungu. Kankonde scored this goal in the Kampala Derby against Old Rivals Express Football Club. Well, it doesn't get any better than that. And for this particular week, we told you of the Legends cornerback, still caught up with Paul Sally, living legend at KCCFC. And to tell us, how was life back then at the football club? What don't we know about this football club? These are guys that have their wounds uh, that have really bled for this football club that have really sweated and you know uh, put their bodies on the line for this uh, football club that is KCCFC. We catch up with Paul Sally tonight to give his story. Many a gangi, manji, ozi, gojiyeko kubere wa omo pira. I tell you, never been to be in the end. In the rotary, yani, but in time, the rotary, yani, coachi. Paolo Sari, Commando, Personero, Posinari Simbayo, the Gogolimbo. The legend to Abu Shimurubanga, Eda, the politics, see, the Colonel Bokan Sara, a chicken of Namoya division, a Wakisoku could district. Kale, Nedoza. Lero tujja kuogera nyoko vya mupira. Kuwela le jinti mupira, chite gezanti. Omuntu badde mupira. Nogu savinga. To the highest level. Atira, noto guvamu. No bako, chotu te. Katinganze, vendamara ugu savinga. Atira, nimilabela kochi. Nimilabela administrator. Even you never never go for a coach. You come over there. We must have been not to go to play for. No, we are coach. Not to go to play for. To play for. To play for. Take take that. No, to go for coaching. We are not team. I tell you, we are administration. We are not to go. We are administrator. We are not to go. No, we are team manager. No, we are not to manage our team. Because we go anga. I tell you, nobody can walk with Tom. Can't walk with him. No one can play with them. Nga katinze. Zin kuriya Uganda Football Coaches Association. Nga yoyega taba samu bonna kataba samu ababa samu mpira. Na ba gusamba ko nebeki sita na sano bonna. Bonna katinze ba kuriya bali wansi wangu. No isho. Ewe bi okabi bi somoro kumfura. Legend wa mpira. Nga tena madumu sisi ni nebi tu bidar bi njibi mbadem. Wah, badem mubika, badem masaza, mubika nzima kuri ya mzanyo gumu pira, mzanyo yonye namu mchikaa changu chini chima. Ati la ni masaza ngam, badem mchisi la chini ne, ati na kachiko kwenye na kabu ganda, akakuri ya mzanyo, ngam na niko kumara miaka kumi makumi abiri, kala wakijiango bika taga taga, sisi mimi nanti ni zoko vuke chokume la legend, gumu pira, sana gumu pira kwa angi, kuli serious. Sasa mbida timu nyingi. Pozi ngambe, mwe natandi kwa mpira na kutani kila wanseyo. Ngancha asoma, mchitevi primary school. 
ninguém não mexe com ele, nem beira com o agulho nem o Saint Francis, nem o Sr. Biunga, nem o Sr. Bilamu Tim, exame se o Walu Timbari vai ligar para Gita, na tete de Angasta, mas nem o João Eli Abeira, a um na tete, a mãe está ruere, bem na vã mo nem sabe o Tim, na hora de Gita Casai Gayo, umugenzi seka bembe, Fred seka bembe yari wa 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 muno, yari na njiri yuko naji tu meri njia, ili akasai, wabeji wa mzali ili akasai, mchagwe, katika au, vinyuma ngamu zoku kusoma, vinyenye gira maji, ni sambi na mtimu ya masinda tira regiment. Timu ya masinda tena regimenti yeyo, muna tani koko kumani 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 kwa kumanga yari mbunyoro, katini ni 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 Okutuka sanfu muna ana, nga ba chuzisa governmenti, ba tukua na ba tukeke ruzira, imara miaka hisatu, katika chao, kuekura be kubedala, avu de ruzina moeite wano, ba gugua kwa, ni sara wakuingi na mukesi si football club, kesi si ba nyingi na moeite wano, nga mama ina umutu avu de nani na kwa mukomera, na sanga uba goki pa bara ba tebuse ke ba na bara ra. Nee, mumiyesi mukaga na ni mazoe kubadjao, zefastigo kipa. Tewe zamu tuabadi abadde miaka hisa tunguli mukomera, hata nojia nojia wabo sanzo wabadde muzi. Hatu kuba eight one paka eight seven. Na sambi la kesi si, eight seven tu genda oksoma wa kochi Ghana, no Germany. Nima tomuru anga wao Jimmy Shirunda, Filipo Mondi, na 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 ba la tuali ba tu muenda, tu we we tu we tu vayo, nini zia moite iti nini samba, nini samba ko, nolo vanyo na geno kula manga, nini samba chise le chimara, atenga ni na bensi kiliza rosadi kwa sasa, ni bright day la basi, ni ngavo gizibo cha ya kana zizi mabera mugoro. Nini sara wote kwa mweo mu Uganda ngine Rwanda, ngine na nini kuchinga timu Rwanda yangu baadhi tama kungwa sport, na timu yego anga, amu eight eight inga kugua kwa kati, au wenyezo gambi nanti, jamii yake jina sambi na mu mu kesi si, pasi yobuzi zako vya biko po, tuwa wangu biko po biingi nyonge kati. Mumongo sikia inza kufidjukira, wanga bieta gao kumara kukulachi, waluwa manja wabade wabigobelira, wanga tuwasa chenyizo kujukira nti. Tuwali inga tetufa mumipira, bo wanga wabade mukesisi, osamba kilabu, osamba liji, ate ugenzo kuchika, tofo kuchika, ate bakueta aga mutimu ye guanga, Bak, timu yangu anga mosaini bivu kupaka mto tazi sikafa kati kwe gamba. Ochoa kuwangu rasha kwa kwa chifura muzi kani ne manga si sopo la kuroza nyonti uba kwa kwa bivu kopo webi ti ne uli ba ba binoni reza wakati wa eight one ne eight eight asopo la kuzure bivu kopo bivu kwa kwa ala. Well, that's the living legend, uh, Paul Sally, or the legend Paul Sally, part of that team of the 1978, played with players like uh, the late Philip Omoni, the late Jimmy Chirunda, uh, currently the living legend, uh, that is Tom Luang, also a board member at the football club, and many others like the late Moses Inseriko.
and the others, you know. Uh, so that is Paul Sally. When they get to speak the legends, you just have to listen because there's so much that we don't know about this club that these guys know. The club is 59 years old. We're making 60 years next year in April. So when you get to hear from these guys, you need, you need to take them a little bit serious. Thank you very much. That is the legend Paul Sally. And um, we really love the message uh, that you've really shared with us. Tonight. Now we talk about next week's double game week. That is the two sometimes Uganda Premier League games against Bull Football Club on Tuesday. Uh, that is away at the Fufa Technical Center in Injeru. And also that home game on Friday against Busoga United. And just to give you the head to head ahead of these two games, uh, Bull Football Club and KCCFs in the last 21 games played between these two teams. Um, KCCFC has won 11, while Bull Football Club has won 4. Both clubs have drawn or have shared spoils 6 times. Uh, goals for each club, Bull has scored 18, KCC 32. And then points for each club, uh, Bull with 18 points and KCCFC with 39 points. That is the game that will be happening at the FUFA Technical Center in Jeru next week on Tuesday. And... Um, Definitely a battle for the top owners, as in battle for the top position, because Bull know if they win, they have a chance to get top. KCCFC know if they win, then they get to stay on the top of the league uh, for some good time, uh, heading into that game on Friday. Still the head-to-head -head against, um, ahead of that game between KCCFC and Busoga United, this will be on Friday. Uh, KCC and Busoga have played 11 games, that is in the past 11 games, KCC has won 9, and Busoga United has never won a game against KCCA Football Club. Will this be their first time? We'll get to see about that. Uh, both clubs have, have shared spoils twice. And then goals for each club, KCCA with 22 goals, while Bull, uh, sorry, Busoga United with five uh, goals. And then points for each club, uh, KCCFC with 29 uh, points uh, from this game, while Busoga United with two points. Uh, that is uh, in this tie, that is for the two times that both clubs have shared spoils. We caught up with two players, that is in Muhammad Senoga Kagawa and Brian Majuega ahead of this one, to give us what exactly they expect in these two games. KCCFC is on a flyer, about five games winning streak, you know. Uh, can they continue with that kind of consistency against Bull Football Club, a side that, you know, is very hard to crack, especially when they are playing at home, and also Busoga United, uh, what kind of approach do they expect in these two games? Here's Muhammad Kagawa Senoga and Brian Majuega ahead of the double game week. We take a double game Bade tusoka kwa gara kujao guno, kwa tugumaliriza, kwa tugenda agenda kugwa buru era, nga na kwa tugenda guwa angula. Nga kwa busoka uguna daku na kwa tugia guwa angula. Chenso kwa gamba. Kwa katitumaze tugenda kwe tege kazi nenda kuzetu inao, tulo gina nekubu na yetu muwa angula. Uh, probably, uh, the game won't be easy. Cause Bull now is ranked and uh, is one of the top clubs, actually, as per now. And it has been performing well for towards the previous matches. But uh, as we've also been playing, we've been having a good run and uh, all the players are well focused. Tactically, we are organized and I think uh, we shall be able to create chances. And in case we create chances and we take them away, we shall get the points. Well, that's it from Mohamed Senoga Kagawa and Brian Majuega ahead of that double game week next week against Bull Football Club away in Injeru and uh, that game against Busoga United at home at the MT Nomondi Stadium on Friday. Remember the game against Bull is 2 p.m. And uh, man, if KCCFC can go to Njero and pick that win, and also pick that win against Busoga United on Friday. Well, it's a wrap from us. That is season four, episode five. But before we sign out, a reminder that the KCCFC jerseys are still on sale and you can get yourself a jersey, either the home kit, the away kit, or the third kit at 50,000 Uganda shillings. And also the triple thread at 135 thousand Uganda shillings and we have a lot of merchandise I mean to sell at the football club uh, things like cups mugs umbrellas you know bucket hats um, name it polo shirts uh, raincoats name it I mean I cannot even finish all the kind of merchandise that is on sale just make your way at the empty Romondi stadium and pick yourself something that can make you at least a KCCFC fan one that invests in the football Club. It's a wrap from us, guys. It's season four, episode five. My name is Magero Moses Mwanje. Let's catch up next week on Sunday, but not forgetting on 18th of December, the KCCFC fans gala at the MT Romondi Stadium. Have a good night.